Yo, I just finished watching Miss Marvel and I'm not gonna lie. It was actually pretty good. I was surprised at how good it was. Because at first, when the trailer came out, I wasn't as excited because I thought it was just gonna be a dumb character. Poor writing, poor everything. And I was just gonna watch it to see if the movie is gonna go, go talk about it and then feel like, and me not feeling about missing anything out. But after finishing this show, I can say I like the character of Kamala Khan and the people around her, especially with her mom, dad, brother, and her friends Bruno, Cameron, Nakia, and you know, more. Every character feels alive and charismatic, especially Kamala Khan's actress Iman Bellani, who was apparently in this, in this show. It's their first ever role in every in anything, and it's shocked at how good she was playing this character because she had emotion, heart, and courage throughout the series, and really brought an emphasis on Kamala's character that made me actually, you know, like her and like the world that I'm experiencing within watching the show. The series and the visuals in the show, especially on the first episode, was very much influenced by Scott Pilgrim, and it was done well with the message, icons, and the visual pictures moving throughout the screen. And it was a nice touch to add in a little bit of flavor and color in the MCU after looking so dull and dry for the last couple of movies and end shows seeing something different was actually pretty cool the soundtrack was overall really good with blending in orchestral and pakistani culture sounds together whether something is happening in new jersey or pakistan it is the main standout that really honed in the culture of the character Kamala and really brought an emphasis of where she came from, who she is, and brought in more to her character. The visual effects in the show, however, is following a trend that I mostly despise, me being a trend of over rushed visuals and not looking as good and may come out looking like... <laughs> this yeah not that great but also not really surprising because of how overworked the vfx artists at marvel are and i just want to give a moment to give a shout out to all the vfx people out there who work on these shows and movies while constantly being yelled at kevin the man Feige, the same guy who for some reason changed kamala's origin from being an inhuman to a mutant in the mcu kamala being the first mutant in the mcu which is really surprising but oh my god are the inhumans really being disrespected lately was you know constantly bringing them down it may be you know when black bolt appeared in multiverse of madness and then sneezed really hardly and then with kamala khan was making her a mutant and the first mutant in the mcu and other than being an inhuman but aside from that, and some little incons inconsistencies being if there was a uh, cut scenes for those characters, and especially, especially would have been nice if Cameron, the son of the villain Najma, finds out that his mom actually wasn't such a great person, and overall be a scene where it would be a longer confrontation of him confronting her about it. Well, it would have been cool, but it's just a little, just a little complaint for me. But overall, it's an entertaining series with heart, vibrant colors, good characters, but the villains or even the DODC was sort of a letdown. It was more something in the way and not a threat for for the characters but overall it's entertaining i liked it um but yeah i'm getting off track anyways i'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10 so yeah it's great it's entertaining i liked it but yeah man thanks for, thanks for everything guys and this review was pretty much a test to see if i could do more content like this or what i enjoy but i'll talk to y'all later about my plans and everything so uh yeah bye bye